Hello everybody, Happy New Year and welcome to our first sales video of 2022. One of my New Year's resolutions, I don't really make New Year's resolutions, neither of us do, was to kind of dress better for YouTube videos and do my hair. Um, when you're working at home all day, you must know this. Um, like We haven't got kids, so we don't have to do school runs and things like that. I just throw on like comfy clothes and just throw my hair up. Um, I don't tend to put makeup on or anything. Um, and I just thought maybe I should make more of an effort. So that was the plan today. And then something dug up our floor like our indoor concrete floor in the last two days some things dug it up it's such a mess so that's fun isn't it and um, good start to the day so i'm going to show you what's sold uh since uh lunchtime new year's eve till this morning which is the fourth i think we've got two amazon seller fulfilled items going out we've got upwards which we always pick up it's sold for 18.99 that was a couple of quid from a chaza And then we've got this Ravensburger puzzle, the red box, a thousand pieces. This sold for £24.99 and this was a couple of quid from the Chazza. Okay, I've got one Depop. Was it Depop or is it Vinted? It's Vinted. A Vinted sale. It's this must own it jumper, medium. I took an offer of £12. We're basically just trying to clear out so much of our stock, get the money back, plus a couple of quid. Uh, obviously more... Um, if like when we can but if i'm getting offers and i can make a couple of quid i'm taking it because we just want to have a real clear out um and kind of start the year afresh and um, with some new kind of sourcing plans and methods and just getting rid of stuff we're tired of seeing so this was from a charity shop cost a couple of quid back in the autumn so then everything else i'm going to show you is on ebay this is a police sheriff silicone mold there's like a grenade um handcuffs a baton a gun it's american style it's for um it's like jewelry making soaps cookies that sort of stuff it costs four pounds 70. now this was just because it was in an auction job lot with other stuff that we wanted uh, and i sold it for 7.99 because that was the going rate then we've got Paddy Power Bobble Hat, loads of these are sold. Uh, this one cost £2.14 actually, which is quite high, but it was in a job lot of other hats. Uh, and that sold for £5.49. We'd, we'd never get much for them. Um, then we've got this vintage egg holder. This was in a haul video uh, towards the end of last year. This was originally green. A garage um, repainted it for someone. So it cost £2.50, sold for £15. And then we've got uh, Cherish Teddy's You Set My Heart In Motion, Roger. Um, he was £8, sold for 15 Not great. Not great at all. We've got... I need to move my cup. It's blimmin' cold today. Blimmin' cold. Um, four of these sold. The Spanish uh, beer glasses. The total cost of four was £2. They sold for £24.99. Then we've got this poetry knitted jumper dress size 18 that cost 8.99 sold for 39.99 <clears throat> and would you believe it the hat has sold was it you are you if you bought this are you watching did you buy this uh, we had some funny messages about it so we know that the watchers Oh, of our uh, channel know that we're sick and tired of some of the questions we've had about this hat um and it's been fun we've enjoyed it it cost 193 as part of a job lot of hats back in november 20 um and someone has finally uh, bought it for five pounds see you later hat it's been great ps1 playstation demo game cost 25p in august in a big job lot of games that we had cost not uh, sold for 9.99 then we've got a hush blouse this is an arty boho sheer floaty black star pattern blouse cost eight pounds sold for 17. now that was not a good pickup eight pounds i'm not picking up many hush items again um along with mint velvet um we've got long tall sally black boot cut cords uh these cost six pound fifty in october from a chaza sold for 21.99 then we've got, I think this is the last of the Denby Reflex that Simon picked up when he was out on his own one day. 
Uh, two side plates, cost three twenty five in total, sold for sixteen ninety nine. Then we've got this tray. Uh, this is a vintage Mark Spencer melamine tray. I picked this up when I was out on my own back in the, uh, November. It cost three ninety nine, sold for fifteen ninety nine. We sold a paperweight on Etsy and I can't remember how much it sold for. So Simon's going to put it up here um, later. <laughs> it's a, it's Parlane, it's the brand. It's got it on a sticker on the bottom and it's kind of like a twisted, almost it's like a light bulb inside. Um, so yeah, just butt that in there. We've got Monopoly Deluxe Edition. This cost a couple of quid from a charity shop and that sold for 18.27. That's from 1998 that one. Mint velvet animal print crop trousers. Not pick, picking up mint velvet anymore. These were 5.99. Took an offer of 14.99. I've had those on Depop, Vinted, eBay and Facebook. Sea salt. We have a sea salt color scheme top size 16, navy blue red polka dot. Sea salt's and something else that doesn't always sell well for me. I think I'm only going to pick up size 20 onwards and that applies to Joe Brown's as well. Um, this cost £4.50 and sold for £13.99, got it in October and as far as we're concerned that has been hanging around too long. All this jacket, this is a reversible jacket, this was on a haul video that we did, um, well I listed it in November so sometime at the end of October into November, extra large, uh, hasn't been worn. And it costs £4.50 and sold for £19.99. I don't tend to pick up all this women's very often, but that just seemed a bit special. I looked up solds in the shop and they do sell. We've got some Rohan Trailblazers Trailbla trousers. Um, these cost £4, sold for £20. They were from a charity shop in October. Um... Hornsey Saffron Mug, just on its own, cost a few pence in a set, sold for £5. Then we've got this vintage, I think it's lovely, Art Deco Glass Square Bowl. It's like sapphire blue and uh, it, it doesn't glow under UV light, I checked, because it doesn't have to be green to glow, it can be other colours. It costs £3.00 and sold for 11.99 which isn't great but we've had it since june so um needed to go didn't it uh, next up we've got a ravensburger 2000 piece puzzle this sold on new year's was it new year's eve or new year's day new year's day and i thought oh that's quite apt because i don't know if sydney had uh, fireworks over the opera house um on new year's eve because if you know what but um someone was obviously missing it so it costs £3.99, sold for £17.99, and that's been listed since August. We don't mind hanging on to puzzles a bit longer, especially the higher uh, pieces, num higher number of pieces. I've got a Reese pencil skirt. This was a this is a 14. Cost me £2 in November, so I didn't I priced it low just to sell. And there's profit in there. That was that went for £12. And then I've got a J. Crew skirt. This was seven pounds. Overpaid massively. Got excited that I found J Crew. That sold, yeah, for fifteen pounds. Had that since November. And then we've got this vintage. I won't take it out um, because it's falling apart. It's a vintage picture of Charles Grey, uh, Prime Minister from a long time ago. And this is a very old picture, and it's all falling apart, which I did say in the listing. Now this was in the box of rubbish that Simon accidentally bid on at the auction. Turns out it wasn't rubbish. Um, I'll say that every time. Cost a pound, sold for eighteen ninety nine. And then finally, we have a kids somewhere. A kids fat face coat. Cost three pound fifty. And I took an offer of ten because um, I want to get rid of coats. And like I said, I want to get rid of a lot of stuff. So I'm just packing up a couple of bits for UPS. So I'm just going to show you them now in the middle of this video. This is a Harry Potter seven book bundle. We've sold three of these now, this is the last one to go. We've got lots of spares. If you need any of these, uh, message us on Instagram, I might have something for you. This sold for 29.99. We didn't put a cost price in, we've had them so long. We've just been picking them up from auction, 50p, 25p here and there. So not too much, a couple of quid. And then 
these baskets, Gadsby baskets, we've had kicking around for a while. I think we probably thought they'd sell before Christmas, but they didn't. Anyway, they sold for £29.98 and they cost us £12. We've got this neon cactus reusable glass drinking bottle going out today. This is a bamboo lid with a silicone grip, cost £4.94. Took an offer of £12 because there's not much money in that one. Um, but when I've bought the um, bottles before, in bulk there's like good ones in there and it, like the, the profit's been made so i'm happy to clear those ones out a mint velvet vest top this cost three pound and uh, sold for 12.99 that was from a charity shop got, uh, listed in october uh, glad to see the back of that we have so cold my hands aren't working uh, this mad gab board game it's not what you say it's what you hear that cost 175 listed in november sold for 16.99 and uh, this is interesting so we are trying not to source too much this month and we're just sort of selling through what we've got stuff listings lots of different things that's lying around that we've just sort of put off and part of the plan uh, that i've started is we printed off our inventory like in excel alphabetical by title and i'm literally going through every single listing and amending titles any item specifics that have dropped off i'm updating and i'm checking out solds and and other ones that are listed that are the same and i, I did this one uh, yesterday and it sold same day uh, this has been listed since september it cost like pence it's a 1980 orange chevrolet corvette buddy l corp eight inch plastic toy car untested sold for a tenner uh, so that's good. Uh, I'm not going to put. A, I'm not going to show you the exact paperweight. Simon will put it up on the screen. But this is a Caithness White Friars paperweight, Symphony in Blue, um, Rosette Fleming, and it's only 50 of these were made. And this one was number 20. It cost 63 pound 33 in June. I bought three or four of them. One sold straight away for a few hundred. And this one sold for 159.99 and it's going gsp to france so really really happy with that um it's very rare and i don't want to get it out because i don't want to drop it then we have let me know, this is heavy apples to apples british isles edition this cost 3.99 in october and sold for 17.49 and then we have some Trivial Pursuit game spares that don't cost us anything. We have loads of these and they just sell for 2 49 Just like so easy. Uh, we've got so many lying around. We've got some Hobbs Corduroy trousers that sold on Vinted for 22 99 I can't remember how much they were. Um, a few quid. And if you sell on Vinted, um, or if you don't, you have to choose your post preferences when you set up your account so i um chose the ups and royal mail only so that meant when someone buys from me they can choose between ups and royal mail then on vinted the buyer pays for post so everything was fine people have used both when they've bought from us and this order came through yesterday and they've chosen yodel and i was like what i don't offer yodel so it means i have to go to a yodel drop-off point and ups had like disappeared from the postage preferences and yodel was tipped so that was annoying so i went in and removed yodel and just got royal mail and today at lunchtime i got a notification from vintage saying wow great news yodel are now a preferred um courier on our on our app and it will be automatically ticked um so you need to remove it if you don't want to send yodel so i was like well thanks for the fyi 24 hours later so i've unticked yodel and ups is back so it's ups and royal mail only so i went to the dentist this morning i'm going to take these and drop them off on the way because there's a drop off point nearby and i forgot so I'll post those tomorrow um got some fails today but it's okay because i just wanted some money back so i can move on uh lindy bop dress size 20 don't want to pick up lindy bop anymore haven't for a long time but because it was a size 20 and it was red and it was um this was september when i got it from a charity shop i thought that would be great for christmas but no it cost 10 pound sold for 13 won't do that again um we're also clearing like listing loads of stock that's been hanging around and this has been hanging around for like three years there was a box with electrical items in it and i for some reason hadn't listed any of it so this is a vintage agfa isola agna camera made in germany with the original leather case uh that sold for 12.99 within a few hours of listing it and i went a couple of quid higher than other sold so i was quite surprised that that sold so quickly 
uh, this here, I'll get Simon to put a better picture on because it's so heavy. Oh, gosh, he'll put a picture here. Um, it's a Philips AG8108 reel to reel tape recorder from like the olden days. Um, untested, needs a plug. Uh, listed that for $29.99. That was in the same box as the camera. That was a really old auction pickup. Some fashion black gloves, again, another really old pickup. They were just in an auction bag and they were listed in January 21. Uh, so they've, they've passed two Christmases now and they were going to end up going in the 99p auction lot. Um, they were £3.25 back then and they sold for £10. Then we've got another fail, Bjorn Borg top size 14 from a Chazza, cost £10, sold for £8. I knew as soon as I got it home, I was like, what was I thinking? Um, so that's gone. And then banana grams. Pick this up, uh, thinking it was a bolo, but it, it isn't really a bolo. Um, should have checked. This was two pound in December. Sold for nine ninety nine, but it's got no instructions. So what I did is I went on the banana grams website, copied all the instructions, and pasted them into the product description. Uh, just doing my bit for the buyer. Shaney, what's going out today? With a bit of sun, uh, cold sun, but sun all the same. So. Uh, let's do this. We've got, I found, when I was hiding up for Christmas, I found another Clinique item. And if you remember, I picked them up at a garage sale. They were all 54p each. I've done, I think I spent £25. I've done over, I've done over £700. So this is a Clinique High Impact Curling Mascara Black, just a 2.5mm size. And that cost 54p, sold for £5.99. So happy with that pick up uh, apparently Clinique sort of don't sell their end of line stuff to like wholesalers and stuff so they, they destroy it I think so if you can get hold of Clinique um, it's a good one because people like colours or particular items that um, you can't get anymore whereas I think Estee Lauder they do sell on to wholesalers and you can get that all over eBay so Clinique's a good one to pick up We've got a Rohan Extra Fine Merino Knitted Top, size 10. There's a small hole on the side, but I listed it anyway. It cost £3.95. I didn't notice the hole until I got home. Um, sold for £9.99, listed in December. Uh, I would normally take things like that back, but it depends where I've been, where I've got it from. If it's just not feasible to return it, then I'll list it. Unless it's completely ruined, then I'll bin it. And we've got these River Island Molly Jeans. These are a bad buy. These are brand new tags. Um, I think maybe if they were blue, they'd have been better and a bigger size. They're a size 10. They cost £8 in October, sold for £18.99. I must have sent 100 offers out on, on those over since October. We've got another item <clears throat> that sold out of the box that's been in here for years that had the camera in and something else and something else. This is a vintage Yashica or Yashica camera self timer accessory remote shutter release. Uh, cost a couple of quid, sold for $15.99, and it's going abroad via GSP. Um, so that's a good one. Really pleased with that because it was just hanging around. Who knew? It's going to Norway. Then I listed this yesterday and it sold yesterday. I picked this up on New Year's Eve. It's a Wentworth puzzle, £2 it cost. It's a funny one really because um it's got it doesn't say anywhere on the box anywhere how many pieces it is and sometimes they do it's also the picture on the front it's been stuck on quite badly but it looks like it's got someone's carpet on the very edge like it's been taken on a floor i know they do their own sort of uh, purse like you can get your own design made onto a wentworth puzzle but it was just a bit of a weird one uh, but i did it and it's complete and it's has 265 pieces, cost £2 and sold for £29.99. I've got another one to list today that has five pieces missing. What have I just... Oh, I just dropped something. Uh, we've got this Gibson's Harbour Holidays jigsaw puzzle. There's four 500-piece jigsaws in there. And the Whitby one is missing two pieces, so hence why that's going cheap. That costs £5.33 in a big job lot, but it's, uh, we sold it for £10, um, so not great. And then, I'm going to hold them up, because I've just dropped them on the floor down there. Uh, some spare Trivial Pursuit wedges. <laughs> uh, we sell these regularly, they don't cost us anything, we've got loads, and they sold for £2.49. Uh, so that's everything uh, for the whole week. So first week back after Christmas and New Year, not been a bad one we, we haven't listed much at all and um, we've just been sort of price changing tweaking 
um, listing old stuff, but not sort of en masse. But we're going to the auction today, so hopefully you'll get some treasure. As usual, thanks for watching, and please, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe now so you don't miss out on any other videos. See you next week.